I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to show you my patient, your name is Phil, date of birth, any allergies. What we're going to do is we're going to do a nasal gastrin tube. Here. We're going to give it an insert a nasal gastrin tube today. So I'm going to raise the bed. So I'm going to put it in high fowlers. So as I'm doing that, I'm assessing his mental status. And also I'm checking his nares, his nostrils, making sure that they are... Um, they're intact and that he doesn't have a deviated septum of any sort. And then I'm going to ask him to hold each side and see which one he can free better out of. So we decided that we're going to go to the right side here. So I'm going to do some hand hygiene. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to measure your tube. Okay, well, it's okay. So this video is a little, it's okay, but we're good. We've got this going on here. Okay. All right, so now, um, okay, so I'm going to get my gloves. I perform my hand hygiene. I'm going to have you hyper extend your neck back. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Okay. And if you're going down, it's going to feel a gagging. Once you feel the gagging and you're coughing, I'm going to have you put your head forward. And forward. And then I'm going to have you sip on your water as I continue to go in through my placement. Okay, it looks like everything went good there. I'm going to secure my line. A little sugar on here. Okay, so I've secured my line. All right, now I'm going to um, make sure I've got some confirmation. So first things first, I'm going to take, I'm going to withdraw, looking for the gastric contents, looking for my pH. In my cup here, psh, I'm going to get some pH, my stick, looking for three to five. Okay, so after I do that, Back. Okay, so x-rays come. They're going to take an x-ray, making sure that I am have the proper placement. And then I'm going to I'm going to insert some air, and I'm going to listen for gastric sounds. I'm going to do about 30 ml of air. Okay. So I'm going to listen to my sounds here. All right, on three, one, two, three. All right, perfect. I'm in. I'm for a good bushing. I like it. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move to my next scenario because I need to feed my patient. So I would have my syringe and I'm going to withdraw from my the gas or contents and I'm looking for if there was air, I'm looking for air, I'm looking for food, but it looks like I got about 60, 60 mLs of um, food that's been um, eaten, or <laughs> I'm trying to think, I have so many brain freeze, um, looks like it's been digested, digested, so I'm going to put that back in, so I have 60 mLs, okay, and then I'm going to pull my check out, Put it together. Here. Got about 100 ml of water, so actually I'm going to just put 60 in there. 60 ml. Okay, good. How are you 
you doing? Pretty good? Okay. Got 250 of my nutrition here. Number 250, and I will adjust accordingly to make sure it flows appropriately. Okay, I'm adjusting that. Okay, I'm going to do a little more water. Another 60 ml or 100, whatever was ordered. Okay. All right, everything looks good. I'm going to place this together. Okay. Now I'm going to secure my line. I'm going to identify, making sure that I've got enough lubrication around my nose and I don't have any pressure ulcers or anything going on there, and then the comfortability of my patient. If I did have a G-tube in the tummy, I would look and make sure I don't have any skin breakdown, redness, <coughs> swelling, any irritability on that. I'm going to um, clean up my mess here. I'm going to document my findings. I would document a uh, uh, person, place, um, how much uh, I administered, and um, the G-tube, and um, any sort of um, content that we pulled out. And if you need anything else, I would lower the bed. I would make sure that you're sitting for the next 30 minutes in this high followers to help digest the food. And um, I'll perform hand hygiene. And if you need anything else, I'm Laura, I'm your nurse, and I'd be happy to help.